Legworks is happy to introduce the all-terrain knee. The AT knee is an innovative mechanical knee joint, the result of a decade of research, product iteration, and clinical trials. With its patented automatic stance phase lock, the AT knee excites confidence in the user, allowing them to safely overcome everyday obstacles. With a novel swing phase controller, the AT knee is the non-fluid based knee joint that provides smooth, quiet, and energy efficient gait at more than one walking speed, allowing amputees to transition from the early mobility stage to faster walking speeds, improving their ability to demonstrate their progression through mobility class levels. Walk with confidence on the AT knee. The automatic stance phase lock encourages the amputee to have an even and smooth gait pattern. The ASPL mechanism locks upon extension and is stable all throughout stance phase until toe off. The knee will only release when the user has their weight on the toe and is ready to take the next step. Be sure to use an assistive device as needed until you have confidence in your stability and walking with the AT knee. For new amputees walking down slopes or on steep slopes, use a handrail whenever possible. When walking down slopes, it is important to make sure that the AT knee reaches full extension. The user then initiates stance phase by loading on the heel of their foot and keeping the weight on their prosthesis side until the toe is loaded and the user is ready to take the next step and swing the prosthesis through. Steep slopes may require the amputee to take side steps to descend. For walking down steps, use a handrail whenever possible. Step down with your prosthetic leg and then bring your sound side down to that step. It is important to make sure that the AT knee reaches full extension. More experienced, higher level activity users may be able to walk downstairs end over end, but make sure to use a handrail to ensure safety while performing this. Ensure that your prosthetic foot lands with the heel toward the back of the step so that most of your foot is on the step to consistently load the toe to release the ASPL mechanism. Sitting with the AT knee can be easily done. For lower activity level users or for bilateral amputees, it is encouraged to use a seat with an armrest. To sit, put your prosthetic leg slightly behind your sound leg Grab onto the armrest or the seat. Place weight onto the toe of your prosthesis to disengage the ASPL mechanism and slowly lower yourself down with your sound leg and arms. Setting up the AT knee for use is simple and straightforward. There are five considerations to account for when fitting a patient with the AT knee. Sagittal plane alignment, the flexion stop, extension assist spring selection, the lock spring adjustment, and the variable friction control adjustment. For the sagittal plane alignment, the AT knee should in most cases be set up with the manufacturer recommended settings. Deviation from the manufacturer settings may need to occur in cases of patients with hip contractures. The manufacturer suggested settings are a 10 to 20 millimeter posterior shift of the socket bisection line and a neutral angle. Approximately three degrees of flexion in the socket may be desired for more active users. The instructional handout shows how adjusting the amount of posterior shift and socket flexion affects voluntary control. A flexion stop is needed to prevent damage to the internal knee mechanisms. When fully flexed, the socket should not hit the extension assist mechanism in any way or have it be used as a stop. Instead, the socket or thigh portion of the prosthesis in case of short sockets should come to rest against the bottom molded pylon adapter part of the knee. Lower activity level patients should use the less stiff extension assist spring. Higher activity level patients should use a stiffer spring to prevent excessive heel rise at faster walking speeds. The spring can be easily popped out by wedging the extension assist base out with a flathead screwdriver. Ensure that the extension assist base is aligned with the bottom shaft 
when placing the extension spring back in place. Once the extension assist is out of the knee joint, the lock spring can be adjusted. The lock spring controls the amount of force pushing the lock into the locked position. Tightening the lock spring makes the lock more difficult to unlock, and loosening the lock spring makes it easier for the lock to unlock. Tightening or loosening to extremes may cause the knee to not properly function, for example, not unlocking or not locking. Variable friction control adjustment is designed to allow the prosthetist to adjust the swing phase control specifically to fit the user's confidence in their gait and their walking speed capability. Users who walk at slower speeds and need the knee to make a noise upon terminal impact to signify the knee is locked should loosen the friction control to their preference. Higher mobility level users who walk at faster speeds and are more confident in their awareness of the position of the knee should tighten the friction control to their preference. Please refer to the instructional handout and manual for more information on how to set up the AT knee and fine tune the adjustments to your patient's needs. We hope this helps you begin walking with confidence on the all-terrain knee.